janitor complaint. Has anyone else seen that janitor mopping up around here? Isn't this a restricted access area? Who gave him permission to come in here? And how the F did he get through the maze? Wait, do I have another hotline? Oh. You have seen the foundation base of the building tree. The house grew there, here, everywhere. We are there everywhere. We have a socket door there. It is a direct link. Dude, the janitor's a member of the board. Yep. The janitor is the, a member of the board, and we went down to where we connected in. That's what all those pillars were, the foundation of the building. That was the bottom of the old house. Oh, dude. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, you want me here. Finding the projector was how this all began. What started in ordinary ends here. You, me, Dylan. We've all come full circle. What are what are all these these things? Sand. Linda, I saw David last night. I was working late in the quarry when he stumbled out. Oh wait, no, we already read that. To all dimensional research staff, I've heard that numerous people have been complaining about the sand piled up around the dimensional research. The sand is precious research material from a foreign dimension and will be examined more thoroughly when I have time. If you attempt to clean or dispose of this sand, I will bar you from any future research endeavor. You will you will spend the rest of your career clicking envelopes in a cubicle staring at a cat poster. Do not touch my sand, Dr. Darling. That is amazing. Real quick, apparently my son just shouted up that he has jelly beans, so I need to go uh, check this real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, we good. We good. So my, I have some jelly beans downstairs in a pack, and uh, and Lena told Rowan that if he wanted some, he had to ask me. So that was Rowan downstairs yelling up, "Go! I have jelly bean, Daddy! I have your jelly bean!" <laughs> and then I said he can have some, and he just goes, "Thank you!" And he turns around and runs away. <laughs> Pretty amazing. A janitor cart. Huh. Okay. Oh, and there's some sand. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. That is amazing. That is amazing. That little kid's incredible. We got a new mod? I think we've already had that mod, didn't we? I'm pretty sure that was the levitation one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, levitation ammo efficiency. That can go. That can go. That can go. Uh, yeah, we're gonna wait on the rest. Oh, here's the sand. Can we, what do we need to upgrade the charge? I want this one. Oh, we just need some more source. Okay, cool. Yeah, we need to get this, like, right now. Um, I don't think I have enough stuff to break down, though. Do I? Eh, maybe. Mm. Oh, we got a lot of low-level stuff. Where do we get all this? I'm gonna keep that one actually. Yeah, we're not gonna have enough right now. That's okay though. We'll be able to get it soon, hopefully. Oh, 
this is it. This there was is a it. doorway here. To where Dylan and I went, where the projector took us, where we met you. The bureau opened the same door here, but there's just an echo now. Are you close? Just on the other side? Not going in. That button over there didn't do anything. So we gotta find a way to somehow turn this on. There should totally be hidden loots up here. Rude. I'll tell you. Oh, is that where it was supposed to be? Oh God, where is it now? The projector's not here. Moved again. I miss loot. Thanks. What did Darling do with it? We'll go back and look. I've got to find out. And we will, as soon as I get my leads. Uh... Aha. There's hidden leads. There's one. And then, where was the other one? Chat said I missed two different loots. Oh, just one. Okay, cool. Thanks, chat. Can I pull up from here? No. There we go. Oh, wait, what? Oh, rude. Jeez. Dams. So it like puts this place in straight up lockdown. This side towards screen and the number thirty-six. Hold on, I'm gonna watch this in its full glory. Hold on. We're gonna watch this in here. So we can actually see it, hopefully big screened. Yeah. The projected image from each slide is a, a physical portal into another dimension. Only one slide remains. Dylan's sister burned the rest in ordinary before we could intercept. The text on it, color slide film, this side towards screen, and the number 36. The topography of slidescape 36 bears deep wave marks. On the slide and in the distance, there's a formation of five pillars like crude, outstretched, fingers there were casualties on our first expedition but communication is an issue there is no sound there as if you've gone deaf and radios don't work correction a resonance from an unknown source in part within the range of audible frequency it acts in unpredictable ways causing feedback loops that can tear you apart trench insists he heard something else it made his ears bleed. Our equipment found no evidence of anything beyond the primary resonance. Trench's medical tests show nothing amiss. Whoa. 
on the slide and in the distance, there's a formation of five pillars, like crude, outstretched fingers. There were. Oh. Now we're getting into the Hedron Resonance Lab. Now, for those that didn't see at the beginning, basically that guy we just saw on the TV, right before we got here, our character, he basically went like crazy, started drinking and handing out those devices that you see on everyone's chest that are keeping them sane. And those are Hedron Resonance devices. So we don't know where Darling got the information about Hedron Resonance. Nobody does. And in fact, one of the things they pointed out early is that normally when Darling makes discoveries, he's like super big about it and he makes a big deal announcing it. But for the Hedron Resonance stuff, he just gave it out as quickly as he could and nobody knew. So this has been something we've been wondering about all game. We don't even know what Hedron means. Oh Lord, what is going on in here? Hedron Containment. Hedron and the Hedron Resonance are arguably the greatest asset this Bureau has ever possessed. The security of Hedron is unspeakably vital, which is why we have blank from the majority of Bureau employees. The report details the containment procedure required for the Hedron Containment Chamber, including details on the blank being pumped into the containment cell, mechanical upkeep of the resonance siphons, and the arrangement of the acoustic pillars to dampen or amplify the sonic range of the chamber? Nani. So, wait. I thought Hedron Residence was just a name of a resonance type. But Hedron is a, is a thing? It's a person? He kind of got hinted at that through some of his earlier stuff, but... The side projector only works with side 36. So logically, this means the side itself is part of the object of power or a distinct altered item. But of course, I had to make sure no other sides worked. I had to try. I thought maybe emotion had something to do with it. Connection, history, love. I brought in my parents' old slides. Birthday parties, vacations to Niagara Falls, my first day of high school, that kind of thing. There were two boxes worth. I, I had to dig around the garage for an hour to find them. Never once thought of looking at them since they passed. I tried them all. I waited until all the staff left for night. Left for the night. I stayed up in that booth for hours, trying every one. Projector off, slide out, slide in, projector on, nothing happens. Projector off, slide out, slide in, projector on, nothing happens. Love wasn't the common factor. There's no correlation that I can see. Maybe the slide itself is the object of power? Maybe the projector's just an accessory? Maybe it doesn't matter. Why that F why'd that effing kid have to burn the other slides? <laughs> Lol. Can we go in here? Oh. Oh, is this the Hedron Lab? Uh-oh. Is that not it? Oh. Ah. There it is. Expedition 3. We located the source of the resonance in Slidescape 36. It is an entity, a living organism of a considerable mass. I I've named it Hedron based on its physical shape. Hedron? We, 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 we built a Was that for it. you? Did he bring you here? Is that why you brought me here? You're here. You're here. They have you. I know you. I remember her from ordinary. Oh. I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, Hedron Hang is. On. I'm coming. Polaris. Oh. Is that a naked dude? Oh shit. Hold on, hold on. Is this is this what we just got? I meant oh shoot, by the way. Final message. First wait. 
This is Hedron, right? Okay. Yes. Expedition three. Yeah. We. Okay, great. That's Hedron. Now here. Oh, dude. I'm Dr. Casper Darling, and this, this is my final message. It's not the end. But after this, I won't, I won't. I exposed myself to Hedron Resonance fully. It, it is, it's changing me. I, I've seen Show so much. Slide Skate 36 was where Hedron stopped the spread of another. It's, oh, it's terrifying. It really is. It's another source of resonance. Trench was exposed to this other. It will now spread. I've done everything I can to stop the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. Can we just stop for a second and appreciate how ripped this dude is for being a scientist? Well done, friend. Well done. I, I don't know if it'll make a difference. I, I, I won't be here when it happens. I, I should have told him any more. I, I'm being said one more lesson. Something wonderful, I think. Okay, that answered a few questions, but it brought up a lot more. If he exposed himself to the Hadron, Hadron Resonance like we did, does he have a Polaris in him? Why was that the final message? Why was he naked? Um, what's the next step? Where is he? Where's he been this whole time? Um, help. I'm Dr. Casper Darling. It's not the end. But after this, I won't. I won't. Can I see an object to pick up in here? No. Okay. So can I actually get there through here? I don't think so. Yeah, I have to. I have to find another way into this place. Okay. We didn't. We didn't get anything. Maybe. Maybe a door opened up down here. Fully watch Hedron. We did. We did watch all of Hedron. Yeah, no, no, we did. Didn't we? No, we didn't? Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's try it again. Three. We located the source of the resonance in Slidescape 36. It is an entity, a living organism of a considerable mass. I I've named it Hedron based on its physical shape, the part that we can perceive. I honestly think... Oh, you're right. You're right. We did. Thank you. The resonance, it emits the frequencies. We've, we've never seen anything like it. We, we, we built a container for it, and we brought it in. This changes everything. It is beyond our understanding. We have brought so many questions with us through that hole in the wall. I will dedicate... I'm never going home. 
<laughs> I have to admit, I really like Darling's character. Also, I don't know who plays Darling, but he does a great job. Um, I don't think I've ever, I, I don't think I've ever seen that actor before, but like, he does a great job. Through here? You That's exactly what so the chest strong. thing looks like. Darling, use this HRA to lock the door. I have to rip it off to get in. Okay. You sure? Okay, I'll be there. Uh oh. Hang on. Wait, is this gonna make everyone's thing stop working? Uh oh. Hi. I made it. Oh no. Did we just let the hiss in? Should have got my melee up more. Oh yeah, you're on my team now. Let's do it. Can I stop these? Oh 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 oh. Dr. Darling is played by Matthew Foretta. He voice acted Alan Wake in the Alan Wake games. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. We really do need to play Alan Wake again, man. I think that's gonna have to happen. After this, after this game, because of this game, I think that's gonna have to happen. Oh, seven to Borderlands? <laughs> nah, we're still gonna play Borderlands. Get the fuck away! That's yeah, all three of them. Oh, come on! <laughs> that was cool. Douche! Almost done killed myself. Oh God. Oh, just kidding. I did done kill myself. Great. What do you know? Using a rocket launcher at point blank didn't turn out to be the best idea. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought?
Who to thunk? Uh, this way? I think we can just go straight in. Yeah, should be fine. Upgrade the charge gun. Uh, oh, do we have enough? That'd be great. Uh. Oh, oh, we're so close. Hold on, we've got to have some stuff we can break down. Hold on, hold on. This is happening, chat. This is happening. Um... Yes. Great. Uh, let's do ammo cost per shot. Maybe we can actually can we fire a fourth one? Oh, exclusive to shatter spinning grip. Oh, then why is it lit up? <laughs> okay. Um. This was our headshot damage. Although it's explosive, so. Uh. Okay. Um. Oh, let's do the damage boost actually. So we'll put projectile spread down for this one. And then we'll do damage up for this one. Yeah. Here we go. Hey, Green Bay 31, how you doing today? This way? No, this way. I wonder if it tracked, I wonder if we have to do all the stuff again or just, oh no, it's already, it's already floating. So it actually tracked all the bottom ones. Oh, that was nice of the game. Thanks game. That's super nice. Thank you. Made me feel just a little bit less of a dingus. I mean, not a lot. the dudes that killed me last time. I thought it was the sniper on the ground. No, no, no. This guy. I just pulled that dude out of the air. Beep. So this is my life now. <laughs> 